Euclid's Fifth Postulate In this module, you will learn about Euclid's Fifth Postulate. Two lines in a plane that do not intersect or touch each other at any point are said to be parallel lines. Now let us take a look at the Euclid's fifth postulate, which is also called as the parallel postulate. Postulate 5. If a straight line meets two other lines, so as to make two interior angles on one side of it, together, less than two right angles, the other straight lines will meet, if produced on that side, on which the angles are less than two right angles. Suppose line AB and CD are two straight lines and let PQ be a line which meets AB in L and CD in M. A transversal is a line that intersects at two or more other lines. Here PQ is a transversal to line AB and CD. There are eight angles formed by these three lines. Angle 1, Angle 2, Angle 3, Angle 4, Angle 5, Angle 6, Angle 7 and Angle 8 as shown in the figure. In this Angle 1, Angle 4, Angle 7 and Angle 6 are called exterior angle. Angle 3, Angle 2, Angle 5 and Angle 8 are called interior angles. Angle 3 and Angle 5 are called as pair of interior alternate angles. Observe that Angle 2 and Angle 8 is also a pair of interior alternate angles. Similarly, the pairs Angle 1, Angle 7 and Angle 4, Angle 6 are called pairs of exterior alternate angles. Angles 1 and Angle 5 are called a pair of corresponding angles. There are three more pairs of corresponding angles. Angle 2, Angle 6, Angle 3, Angle 7, Angle 4 and Angle 8. Look at Angle 3 and Angle 8. They are the interior angles on the same side of the line PQ. According to Postulate 5, if angle 3 plus angle 8 is less than 180 degree, then line AB and CD meet on the left side of PQ. Let us explore more on the condition angle 3 plus angle 8 is not equal to 180 degree. For these, we are having the following proposition. Proposition 5. If a transversal cuts two parallel lines, then the sum of two interior angles on the same side of the transversal is equal to 180 degree. Now let us see what is given. A transversal is intersecting two parallel lines. What we need to prove is that the sum of internal angles on the same side of transversal is equal to 180 degree. Proof Suppose the result is not true. After observing the figure, if angle 3 plus angle 8 is not equal to 180 degree, then either you must have angle 3 plus angle 8 is less than 180 degree. Or angle 3 plus angle 8 is greater than 180 degree. In the first case, AB and CD meet on the left side of PQ. Suppose angle 3 plus angle 8 is greater than 180 degree. We observe that angle 3 plus angle 8 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 is equal to whole bracket angle 3 plus angle 2 plus whole bracket angle 8 plus angle 5. It is equal to angle ALB plus angle CMD. It is equal to 180 degree plus 180 degree is equal to 360 degree. 
Thus, angle 2 plus angle 5 is equal to 360 degree minus whole bracket angle 3 plus angle 8 is less than 360 degree minus 180 degree is equal to 180 degree. As we know that angle 2 plus angle 5 is less than 180 degree. Hence, postulate 5 tells that AB and CD meet on the right side of PQ. Hence, we conclude that if the sum of the interior angles on the same side of PQ is not equal to 180 degree, then AB and CD meet at some point. Thus, if AB and CD are parallel, then sum of the interior angles on the same side of any transversal PQ is equal to 180 degree. This completes the proof of the proposition. Thus, postulate 5 implies that given a pair of parallel lines and a transversal, the sum of internal angles on the same side of the transversal is equal to 180 degree. Play fair's postulate. In a plane, given a line and a point outside the line in the same plane, not on it, at most one line parallel to the given line can be drawn through the point. Now let us see one proposition on it. Proposition 6. If a transversal cuts, two distinct straight lines in such a way that the sum of two internal angles on the same side of the transversal is equal to 180 degree, then the two lines are parallel to each other. Now we will see what is given. Two straight lines AB and CD and a transversal PQ intersecting AB in L and CD in M respectively and angle ALM plus angle LMC is equal to 180 degree. What we need to prove is that AB is parallel to CD. Proof Assume that AB and CD are not parallel. Then they must meet at some point, say, S. By Playfair's postulate, there is a unique line XY passing through S and parallel to PQ. Since XY is parallel to PQ, we have angle QLS plus angle LSY is equal to 180 degree, as they are internal angles on the same side of the transversal SB to the parallel line XY and PQ. But angle QLS plus angle ALM is equal to 180 degree, as they are adjacent angles formed by the ray LA standing on the line PQ. Hence, it follows that angle LSY is equal to angle ALM. But angle ALM plus angle LMC is equal to 180 degree, as this is given in the data. We also have angle LMC plus angle MSY is equal to 180 degree, since they are the sum of the internal angles on the same side of the transversal SD, cutting the parallel line XY and PQ. Thus we get angle ALM is equal to angle MSY. It now follows that angle LSY is equal to angle MSY. But angle MSY is equal to angle MSL plus angle LSY. We obtain angle MSL is equal to 0, hence SB and SD coincide. This force that the straight line AB and CD are the same, contradicting that they are distinct lines. We conclude that AB is parallel to CD. Now let us take one example on it. Example. Let AB be a straight line, let CD and EF be two straight lines, such that each of them is perpendicular to AB. Prove that CD is parallel to EF. 
Solution Let AB intersect CD and EF at L and M respectively. Since CD is perpendicular to AB, we have angle DLA is equal to 90 degree. Using EF is perpendicular to AB, we also get angle FMA is equal to 90 degree. Thus, angle DLA is equal to angle FMA. But these are corresponding angles made by the transversal AB with the line CD and EF. Hence, by corollary to theorem 2, we conclude that CD is parallel to EF. Let us revise all that we have learnt in this module. Euclid's fifth postulate. 